All right, so we're coming up on two minutes, 30 seconds away from launch. It, we were hearing like there was a pretty good chance we were gonna hold it T minus 40 seconds, but surprise, now it sounds like we might not be. So uh, we are just a little over two minutes away. So a couple more things gonna be happening. Uh, we did just close out our propellant load on the ship and the booster. So 10 million pounds of propellant on that vehicle on the pad here at Starbase getting ready to go. We're gonna start uh, clearing out all of the lines that are basically pushing all of that propellant to the vehicles. Those get cleaned out or cleared out uh, on the ground before we lift off. We're doing some final checks on the vehicle, the thrust vector, the thrust vector control that we're gonna use to steer it um, as well as uh, the guidance system doing its final alignment, just a lot of our, our final checkouts. But uh, we are, we are starting to hear that it looks like the range is going to be clear at our liftoff time of 7.25 a.m. Central, 12.25 UTC. So that puts us one minute, 20 seconds away from launch. Still not tracking any technical issues. That range clears the only thing that's been uh, potentially poking at our launch. So I'm going to start to quiet down. We'll hear our flight director for today, Tristan Pierce, give some of the final call outs. As of right now, we are one minute away from liftoff. Directors go for launch. Best words you could possibly hear 20 seconds away from liftoff. T minus five, four, three, two, one. We have left on. Vehicles pitching downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionics power, telemetry nominal. Thirty-three Raptor engines. Max Q. Through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle is going to see on the way uphill. All right, our next our next major milestone coming up. It's going to be hot staging. We're going to see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. Right now, the tower team is doing their go, no go. We might hear some really good words soon, too. All right. 
can still see it up behind me. That is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's Coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's start up. most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster, booster stage separate. separation. Start hot up. stage confir separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. Hopefully I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm gonna send it to you guys in Hawthorne. Oh man, that was <laughs> absolutely incredible. I loved how the crowd- Ship Chamber pressure is nominal. The crowd here in Hawthorne all went, ooh, at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there, first stage currently performing, or to me is uh, now making its way Back to uh, the launch site again. We are ship avionics power and sound phenomenal. Uh, the booster and the tower are both performing automated checks to make sure we are go for the booster to return to the launch pad for that catch. And once those are complete, the flight director. Booster, booster, back for shutdown. Flight director is going for booster return. We did hear that the tower is go for catch, so that was one of the big criteria we were looking for. This view we'll here. wait to hear that the we'll wait to hear that the go for catch has been sent. Beautiful view here from the <laughs> ship. And so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's going to be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land um, in order to make that catch attempt in the tower. <laughs> so incredible to see these views. You can see the ship on the right-hand side of your screen. All six Raptor engines are uh, under full power. Once again, the, the ship, excuse me, the booster is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to try and catch it using the chopsticks on the launch tower, the exact same tower that it just launched from just, wow, five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, and the booster. Starship on nominal hey guys, trajectory. I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking news. up right now. <laughs> It's it's pretty much right over ahead of us, and we can see it starting to come down. I can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through Dan's mic. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. It was so cool to hear the liftoff. Uh, and so once again, um, a successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. And in order to... And guys, we should just be at about 30 seconds away from our landing burn going to happen in three phases. We're going to land 13 <laughs> engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. We're going to ignite 13 of those Raptor engines, and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. <laughs> We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Thank you.
about you, but we're, we're losing our stuff Start over here. Kid, <laughs> <turn away. laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> even in this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. That oh, wow. Damn, wow. You, you must have been insane. <laughs> we are still going wild over here over there. Folks, this is a day for the engineering history books. This is a live view of the Super Heavy Booster as it has just been successfully caught back at the very same launch tower that it just came from. Dan, I love this. You are reflecting exactly what everybody else here in Hawthorne, uh, except maybe a little bit more because you got to see it with your own eyes. How was that? We got it. Off. But I mean, like, oh, uh, like, I, I can't even, I can't even describe that. Oh, by the way, ship, main engine cut off, ship's in orbit, but I am, I am like shaking right now. That was. Yeah, it, oh, this is not, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Let's it's, check in on ship. It's hard to believe that. Starship nominal orbit insertion. All right, exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, you know, Booster isn't the only excitement that we have today. Just confirmation there. A gorgeous view of planet Earth behind uh, ship, the ship. Yes, safe. And it is now in, in the orbit that we expected it to. This is just an incredible day. Live views there as the Booster vents some pressures there. That is a live view from the top of the tower <laughs> looking at the chopsticks. <laughs> I am still in disbelief. I'm trying to catch my tears, just like the chopsticks caught the booster. <laughs> it has been nonstop since liftoff. <laughs> and we are all so excited about everything that's been happening so far this morning. With the booster having completed its job for today, we are going to take a short break. For the next 30 minutes, we'll return back at T plus 40 minutes while the ship continues to coast before re-entry. Oh, man. And <laughs> as with previous flights, Starlink may actually enable us to talk with the ship through re-entry with no communication blackout. We, of course, are still testing Starlink during this phase of flight, so nothing is certain. But if we do have views, we'll be sure to bring those to you live. Views or no views, we'll see you back here at T plus 40 minutes for coverage of Starship's re-entry, flip maneuver, landing burn, and splashdown.